Hi everyone, welcome back to Car Project Central. This is episode 4 of our mini build, or mini project. Today we're going to be changing the engine oil uh, and the engine oil filter for the mini. Uh, so this is the oil that we got. Uh, this was from Repco here in New Zealand. Uh, we've got fully synthetic 5W40 which is recommended by Repco. Uh, we've also got a, um, a new oil filter that will go into the oil filter um, housing. This oil filter is actually um, just an insert so you don't actually have the metal part of the oil filter. It's just the, the, the paper filter that you get. So you actually reuse the housing um, in, these, in these European cars. So the oil filter for these minis, it's just on the right hand side of the engine, uh, at the front of the engine. So it's actually pretty easy to access, you don't have to go underneath or anything like that. Um, but just make sure you have something underneath when you take it off um, to catch all the oil. And we're just using an open spanner. Um, you can also use a um, oil filter wrench, one that's got the rubber around it that um, kind of fits in around the oil filter. Um, but we're just using a spanner just because it's nice and easy and we've got it today. Okay, so this is our second attempt at removing the oil filter. Um, the spanner didn't really work, unfortunately, because um, uh, we couldn't get enough leverage uh, in that tight spot. Um, so we bought a uh, oil filter wrench um, that's adjustable, and so it kind of just locks on when you want to undo the oil filter. Um, so there it is in, in its locked position, and then you just turn it, um, and it, that causes it to unlock uh, and, and remove the oil filter. Um, so do you want to just hold up the wrench so that people can yep. see? Yep, so that's just a little adjustable wrench. So you can adjust it that way as well. Yep. Yeah, just get one of those from your local auto parts, short, auto parts store. And then we can just take the oil filter out. Um, we have got an oil pan sitting underneath. Uh, we definitely recommend that, otherwise you're going to get oil all over your floor. So there it is, we're just removing it now. Oh yeah, that's nasty. That's that's pretty black. So definitely time for an oil filter change and engine oil change. Look at that. Yep. So you see, there's quite a lot of old oil just sitting where the filter housing is, and also we've got a pool of oil just behind the filter housing as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up using some paper towels, just clean up all that oil, soak it up. Um, otherwise, you're going to get old oil. Uh, in your new oil filter, which is not ideal. Yep, so you can use an old rag or paper towel or whatever it is you've got lying around just to suck that all up. Uh, we're just jacking up the car to get um, easier access to the sump plug because um, these minis are actually really low um, so it's really hard to get the oil pan in there even. Uh, you can just find the jack in the boot of the Mini and you just turn it around with the little jacking tool like that. That's where it comes from. Okay guys, it's at this stage that I want to come clean and let you know that we actually removed the wrong plug, the wrong sump plug. Um, we ended up removing the sump plug for the transmission fluid instead. Uh, so please don't make the same mistake that we did. Uh, the correct sump plug is on the left hand side of the engine, uh, right underneath the engine. It should be pretty obvious. Um, we, we're going to change the transmission fluid anyway, uh, but yeah, don't make that same mistake. That's the sump plug at the bottom of the engine. Um, unfortunately with these minis, um, they've got a Allen key uh, for the sump plug. So you can't use a wrench, you got to use like a Allen key. Luckily we were able to find one that fit. Right, so that's the sun plug removed. It's a 5mm um, Allen key that you need to remove the sun plug. Uh, you might need a little bit of a, a pipe or something that will give you some leverage because um, it is on pretty tight usually. 
<coughs> and there we have the oil coming out, draining out of the engine. Um, so it's going to take a little while um, for all the oil to flow out, but make sure you get all of the old oil out um, before you put the sun plug back in and, and put the new oil in. Um, our engine was so low in oil that we actually had to top it up with um, with some old engine oil that we had lying around um, just so that we would have any oil in the engine. Uh, so, you know, thanks to Lee for providing that oil. <coughs> okay, you can see the oil's just dripping down now and that's probably um, time to put the sun plug back in. Uh, there's not going to be much oil left in the engine, so that's all good. Alright, so the sun plug is back in. Uh, don't do it too tight. Basically just um, do it as tight as you can with your with your hands uh, and that should be fine. Right, so here's the filter housing. We're just going to remove the old o-ring. Yep, and then putting on the new o-ring to make sure that it has a nice seal around the filter. Yep, and now we just want to put the new filter in. Just give it a quick wipe. Get rid of all that old oil. And just lubricate the um, o-ring with some new engine oil. Make sure it um, has a good seal. And then finally, you just want to grab the oil filter and push it in. Now we can reinstall it. Oh, something missing. Okay, it just goes straight back in. And you just screw it in. And there you have it, that's our new oil filter installed. Okay, we're just going to tighten it up using the same tool that we used to remove the oil filter. Okay, so after tightening up the oil filter, that's what it looks like. You shouldn't see any of your O-ring, um, and there should be no gap between the oil filter housing and the engine. Okay, so apparently this engine takes in around four and a half liters of oil. Uh, we've got a nice gauge on our oil bottle that tells you how much oil is remaining. Um, so this is a five liter bottle, so we're gonna go all the way down past one liter, and from then on, we'll start checking the dipstick. Just pouring in the oil now, just make sure you're careful if you don't have a funnel. The correct technique is to hold it on its side. Okay, we've just uh, put the oil cap back on and now we're just going to try and start her up. So obviously you want to make sure you dispose of your old engine oil properly as well. Um, so you just want to use an old oil container um, and just pour it in using your oil pan, just like that. And you can see that the old engine oil in the Mini is pretty well past its use-by date. So it's a good thing we're doing this. Alright, so uh, the last step in your service uh, should always be to fill out this little service sticker. 
Uh, so you can usually find this on the back of your oil bottle or um, in the packaging of your oil filter. Uh, so you also want to fill in the details, uh, the date of the next service, which is one year from now. Um, and usually I go for about 10,000 kilometer um, service intervals. So this Mini's done 145,000 kilometers. Um, so the next service is going to be at 155,000 kilometers. Okay, so I've just put the sticker um, on the top of the windscreen. Uh, that's usually where you'll find these service stickers. And I've just put it all the way at the top so that it's out of the way when you're driving. Um, and that's it. That's the end of our um, service video. So subscribe and join us for the next episode.